Okay, my name is Dana Ramos. I'm a Wake County parent and taxpayer concerned about certain reading materials in some Wake County schools. This is not about banning books, books that remain widely available, but it's about keeping inappropriate sexual books out of our schools. One explicit book example titled What Girls Are Made Of by Elena K. Arnold is located in at least 14 public schools. I will read some of it for you now. I laid a towel on the sheet in case I bled and then I watched Seth roll the condom over his penis and watched his hand pushed into the flesh between my thighs spreading them apart and I watched him maneuver his latex wrapped erection as he pushed and tried to get inside. If Seth wants to have sex and I'm on my period I'm the one to suggest that I give him head. It's the way his fingers look blazed like donut after they've been inside me. So you know the girl I'm dating, Nina? No matter how much we do it or how long I lick her, she just can't come. I pull him out of his underwear and he's soft in my hand. I open my mouth and pull him into it and I pull and suck until he grows hard and makes sounds that means he likes it. And I keep going and going and when he says I'm going to come, I don't pull away. The jet of him is warm and salty and tastes like thick and sweat. I let my knees splay open and find my slit with my fingers, the soft hooded nub at its apex, and I guide the red rubber ball against it. My back arches and I hiss in a breath at its first wonderful, terrible contact. A jolt of pleasure shoots through me, so different from the jet of warm water that pours from the shower head, so different from the press of my own hand, so different from the wet lapping of Seth's tongue. There's much, much more. Why is vulgar erotica in our schools for minors? Please explain how this has literary value or supplements academics. Again, this is not about banning books. A parent or teenager can buy this book and find it in public libraries. But most parents, Democrat and Republicans, believe vulgar erotica in our schools is completely inappropriate. This book and many others should be removed from schools. Thank you.